Hi everybody and welcome to homebrew number six. It's the 12th of February. Um, so, what to talk about? I think first of all I wanted to just say that I've had the most geekiest fun um, putting together a new um, brewery sort of logo and stuff. So I hope you like what you see. I've put it at the beginning of my This Home Brew Wednesday and it's also on the top of my YouTube. And there's also, if you've not subscribed, there is what YouTube are calling a channel trailer, which is very exciting. Um, so what brewing have I done? Um, well, this week I've done none. Um, <clears throat> the Root Citra 6 um, is uh, coming along nicely. Um, I've started to have a few bottles of that. I did last week, I think you saw. Um, but I think it needs another couple of um, weeks just to, um, just to condition out. Um, there are a few bottles left of the um, Milestone Crusader, um, which was a great beer, and I might do that again. I'm going to do a smash beer. Um, I'm going to try and enter the smash off. I don't know um, which is Berserker Brewery and uh, Zippy Pirate. I'm going to email him later on and uh, put my name forward. I have to say I don't know whether or not it's going to be ready or not. It's going in the fermenter on Wednesday. So it might be a bit tight. I might get him to try mine last. <laughs> not that it's going to be any good. So I wanted to talk just a little bit about um, software. Um, two questions. My first question is um, what sort of movie editor are people using? I'm um, a Windows boy, always have been, always will be. Um, so, and I'm currently using Microsoft uh, Movie Maker or Live Movie Maker or whatever it's called. I've done a trial on a couple of other bits, but the trials always end in a couple of minutes and they don't have a lot of function on them. So I was just interested, what do people use um, to edit their movies together, um, their Homebrew Wednesdays? So that's one. So that's a technical one about my YouTubing. The second question I have is about brewing itself. Um, and what, um, does everybody use Beersmith? Um, I used, or I have been using to do my smash beer, something called Brewer's Friend, um, which is really easy to use. It's, it's all, um, uh, it all seems to be um, browser-based, um, which is good for me. Um, but I was interested, what do people use? Um, is Beersmith worth the... I, I can't remember, I think it's about 25 quid um, to uh, to pay. I'm pretty sure that that's how much it is. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, have you all paid that? Do you use it? Um, or do you use something else? Uh, so if you've got comments or suggestions, put it in the um, comments below. As you know, I did um, an all-grain beer um, based on the, a style called Beer de Garde, or Beer de Garde, um, with a French saison yeast. Um, I'll cut together in a second um, some of the um, beer settling in my tester tube. It's been in the fermenter now for 14 days, and it is still has loads of sediment floating around. You'll see... Um, sort of in the bottom of the, even in the bottom of the test jar, there's, there's quite a layer, even if you let it sit for a little bit. So I'm wondering, um, what do people do? Um, now, when I did this, I didn't have any Irish moss or warp flocks or whatever the tablets are called. So it's not had any finings or treatment in that kind of way. Do you um, cold crash it? It is going to be um, bottled 
So, because I don't have a, ke a kegging or anything like that. So, do you cold crash it? Um, so, stick it out on the balcony for a couple of days um, with this weather, it, it, it's cold enough. Um, do you secondary? Um, so, is it worthwhile um, racking this all out into a secondary and then letting it sit for another two weeks? Um, and will there be yeast left um, in the bottles in two or three weeks' time if I let it all if I let it continue to settle? Um, it's meant to be a clear beer, um, and I I don't think it is. But I also don't want it to be, you know, a bit like um, orange juice with the bits in because I can't stand that. Um, so I'm interested. Um, what do people do? Um, if you can leave comments, that would be really great. Um, and I'll put this up on um, Brew UK in their forum as a question. Um, and maybe people can uh, respond that way as well. So that's it for me today. Um, thank you very much for listening. Um, and watching and subscribing. And um, I'm amazed absolutely amazed by the amount of help and stuff that I'm getting off of uh, YouTube and the uh, brew tubers um, some of it good some of it bad all of it fun so if you've liked what you've seen then obviously subscribe um, please leave your comments in the comment boxes and I will see you next week happy holidays. <laughs>